for Mitt Romney. The others, forget about it. You want, you want Ron Paul to command the troops? You think anybody would salute Ron Paul? Yes, sir. Uh, you say he'd shrink the government? He'd start by shrinking the military. He hates the military. The man hates the military. Do you understand this? It's unbelievable to me how you people have been so fooled by this guy. So if you'd like to talk about it, I, we can take this call. And The fact of the matter is, why argue over this? He can't win. He just can't win. He just can't win. Isn't that enough for you? Let's move on, Dot Savage. 1-800-449-8255. Plenty of other stories to talk about. Or if you'd rather stick to Ron Paul's mistaken notions about what libertarianism actually means. You know, there's, there's no such thing as absolute freedom. Let, let's start with that. Let me start with what I learned when I was a teenager. Absolute I was just going to say there was another thing he brought up at the debates when it came to veterans. And his first TV ad was about veterans speaking on behalf of Ron Paul, also who is a, who is a military veteran, one of two uh, in the race right now for the presidency, uh, is saying he's right. somebody that has protected benefits. That's right. That's right, Chuck. Uh, so R Ron Paul's been running on this uh, military support recently. This came after uh, him and Rick, Rick Santorum had that spar about Iran mm. at a previous debate. And after that, he's continued to, to pound home that he's gotten more donations from active duty military candidates right. than all other candidates combined, including President Obama. So he's hammering home his military creds. And now he's also pointing to entitlements as something that he will defend. And he, he says the reason he can defend the uh, domestic entitlements is by bringing the troops home and saving trillions of dollars from overseas spending so total contributions by active duty military personnel by the candidate herman kane six thousand two hundred and twenty three dollars now remember these these numbers are uh coming from reports that that may be uh if anything overstating these these numbers at this point uh but mitt romney not even coming up to, to Kane there for active duty military contributions, 5,000. Michelle Bachman, bit of a late start this round. Okay, $2,550. Newt Gingrich, whose campaign is imploding. I don't know if that was by accident there, 1,025. Uh, Palenti, all of $250 from active duty military. Rick Santorum, $250 also. Gary Johnson, sadly, none for his position. Total there of those uh, other candidates, so to speak, $15,398. Sure sounds like a lot, doesn't it? Well, there's one other candidate who you might have noticed. Well, I don't know if you're watching the mainstream media. You, you might not have noticed that he was omitted from that list. Let's see, how much did Ron Paul get in this last quarter from active duty military? Oh, my gosh, $36,000. $739.79. No surprise, actually, that this was the case, far outstripping all other Republican presidential candidates put together, as was the case uh, four years ago. But let's see. Let's compare this to who's, who's the other guy running for president in 2012? Oh, yeah. $28,833.99. For the president himself, 